Sometimes it's just good to let franchises die. Albert. What's up, guys? Welcome to Movie Importance, movie review of The Girl in the Spider's Web. The newest film from Fede Alvarez and stars Claire Foy, Sylvia Hooks, Lakeith Stanfield, Stephen Merchant, and Sabir Gunderson. So we got a new film about Elizabeth Salander, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, based off the Stieg Larsson books. Um, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, if you've never seen it before, is about this girl who she's well-versed in the computer lore and technology. She's a hacker. She can get information. She takes down the bad to help the good. And in this story, we get about we get the information about her past, which involves her sister and her father, and she escapes. And one day, a character played by Stephen Merchant hires her to get access to the NSA to recover this program that could lead into a possible person having the ability to control all defenses, all military, setting off nuclear war and whatnot. And... She gets, she gets played, and she gets taken down, and then things just go haywire, and then we got her story. And, of course, she has to get involved with her old friend slash love interest by Svear Gundesen, who plays Blum, uh, Blumkist. He's a reporter for a newspaper, and we learn that she has to take care of the situation. And I'm having a hard time explaining this movie because this movie makes no sense. This movie's not good. This movie just has a lot of issues and it's very convoluted. It's simple in the fact that it's telling you about her and her past, but then it gets convoluted with the whole Stephen Merchant story and the Blumkist who is here to help her. And I don't know. I feel like I'm like running in circles trying to explain this movie because this movie, like I said, is just not good. It doesn't make any sense. I just think it's a terrible movie. Uh, I kept falling asleep during the movie, which is never a good sign. Um, the people in the theater weren't really reacting to the movie. And Claire Foy, I like her as an actress, but she's just not very good in this movie. Neither is anybody in this movie at all. The whole dynamic between the sisters that ends up coming out in throughout the movie is just boring. You don't want to learn about it. It's very disturbing what happened to her. And it's just like, blah. And... I like Fede Alvarez. I like what he did with the remake of Evil Dead. But I just don't think this is the right material for him, even though it is kind of disturbing the material because the Evil Dead remake was disturbing. But I just don't think this girl with the dragon tattoo outside of the original novel, it just doesn't work. It's trying to be too much like James Bond or Jason Bourne, and it's trying to be too technology and too much, you know, conspiracy and blah, 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 and whatever, and... I can't recommend this movie. It's just not good. There's nothing good about it. I feel like I wasted my money, which I didn't waste because I used the AMCA list to pay for it. But it's just like I'm sitting there going, when is this movie going to end? I'm checking my watch, and you should never have to check your watch when you see this movie. But, you know, this is to be expected when you get these types of movies. Some are good, some are bad. This was bad, and... Like, even the cinematography was, like, very bland and just not very fun to look at. It's dark all the time. It's snowy. It's just very dreary. And then you have, like, Keith Stanfield who pops up, and there's no reason he should be there, but he's there because his what he was working on gets stolen. So he goes all the way to Sweden to take care of the problem. But it's like, you don't even need to be there, and he's just a a plot point to get the sun back. I don't know. It's whatever, but I don't like this movie. Don't like it at all. Don't recommend it. Maybe watch it when it comes on TV. I don't know, but I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't recommend it. So take that for what it's worth, but that's going to be my convoluted take on the girl in the spider's web, you know, too bad. It could be something great, but anyways, that's my take. As always, if you like what you see, remember to check out YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Comment, subscribe, rate, all that good stuff. Email nlapola1138 gmail.com. But let me know what you think about The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Did you like the original? Do you like the remake? I enjoy the remake, even though it's exactly like the original. So, But anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And we'll see you later. Peace. And pick up the rest of the Muppets using a montage.